Hi there. Glad you made it back. Well, we're going to take off into a, a very interesting chapter. At least I believe it's very interesting. I, I hope you do too by the time you're done with all these videos. We are going to be looking at C programming on the World Wide Web with the Common Gateway Interface with CGI. The CGI is the method, set of, set of methods that lay in between you and a program that you write on your web server. It sits in between the client, the browser, and the web server that is getting information, whether that's pages or maybe information from a database. Your CGI program will be able to do that and formatting that information and getting it back out to you on the client. We're going to take a look at uh, a few different steps that you need to take to be able to program in C and make use of the Common Gateway Interface, the CGI. And I'll just call it CGI from here on out, but you need to know that that's what it is. It's the Common Gateway Interface. Common because every web server worth having supports it. It's how we get form information to the web server and how we get replies back from the server to the client. They all have it. They all use it. And even the very latest things that you're hearing about on the web now the new programming styles and new methods still use the CGI, which has been around almost uh, from day one. We're going to take a look at how you prepare the web server for C and uh, for C using the CGI. We have a few things we need to set up so that you can execute programs on it. What I'm going to recommend is that you use a web server on your computer, not uh, a host someplace out in the world at an ISP. If you uh, do that, uh, you're going to be exposing them and you to some serious security problems if you don't write your programs exactly right. I would never recommend that you learn how to program out on an ISP, out on somebody else's uh, an internet service provider, on somebody else's computers out in the world. Uh, you need to make these mistakes that you're going to make on your own system, preferably not even connected to the internet while you're learning these things, and uh, understand what's going on before you get out there and and start exposing your programs to the public. The vast majority of, of problem programs that you've heard reported on in the news the past few years are because of poorly written CGI, poorly written use of CGI, I'll put it that way. The CGI itself is just fine. It's what these programs do with the CGI that gives us uh, fits. We're going to take a look at how to do Hello World using CGI and make uh, Hello World come up on the browser, a couple of different methods. We'll write a few functions, now that we know how to do that, which will make CGI easier, and then we can uh, make ourselves a little library that we can use for all of our different uh, functionality that we're going to need uh, to interact with the Internet. We will take a look at displaying and using environment variables, because that's one of the major sources of communication with the, the CGI, with the gateway. We'll write a form that will use CGI so that we can put a, some information in, maybe a small guest book, and, and get that information into the server and then tuck it away in, in a data file and get it back again. I'll show you the difference between post and get. Uh, that's a couple of verbs that are implemented by CGI, and it's uh, two different methods that we use to, to get data from us to them. And, of course, how to interact with our form and how to trade information back and forth. And then I'll show you uh, a simple AJAX uh, example, which is the latest and greatest uh, methodology to communicate between clients and servers and to have a much more rich or richer experience on the Internet. Uh, that's how Google Maps and some of the other really highly interactive, fast applications work with something called AJAX, and we'll define that and how to program a, a little bit in it. This is by no means an AJAX tutorial. I want to stick to C and what you can do with it, the CGI. So uh, welcome back. Hang in there, and, and let's go on to our uh, next movie on C programming on the web with CGI.